well the it index has been falling for quite some times now and it has been two months and the it index has fallen by almost 13.5 percent so that's a lot and now the question is where it is going to stop so this thing i am going to answer in this video by doing proper price action analysis so that once you find the support level then you could take informative wise decisions based on your own analysis where you can make entry in the index or maybe in the individual stocks so all of these things i'm going to discuss in this video along with that i just wanted to give you one more update that i have created one more channel the name is financial affairs where i do the analysis in hindi and mostly i cover news and its impact on the market and also the content there is different from what i post here so make sure to check that one out i have shared the link in the description section now let's start the video okay so this is nifty it and we can see the big fall after it touched this level it crossed 38000 level here okay and then it started falling and this fall is around 13.5% so let me just measure it here if i take the close then it is 13.42% which is 13.5% now the question is where it is going to stop so in order to find the support level we have to find the previous uh, resistance level near that area and where is the previous resistance level in uh, you know once we just take a casual look so this is the nearest resistance level that i'm seeing and as you can see this is closely aligning with the uh, price where the index is right now so the thing is that it could take support here okay this could act as a support but obviously we cannot be sure enough by just seeing you know uh, the, seeing the index touch that level because you see the red candles are really big this is the weekly time frame okay and you can see the stock uh, the index is falling sharply and also if i check the major it stocks which contribute you know the mo most of the part of this index tcs and infosys i am going to find the same pattern okay see this is tcs okay and you can see in the weekly time frame it is also showing the similar pattern let's check tcs sorry infosys as well so in fee is the code and here you can see the big sharp fall okay and same thing is being reflected in the nifty it index so let's go back to the index itself okay so here is the index and i see that this level 33000 uh, 400 okay this could this area could act as a support this is the first sign but obviously not a confirmed one so what i have done is i have drawn one line here okay which is touching this one touching this one and now i will scroll back a little bit and see where else it is giving a touch okay and as i can see it is touching this one and also you can see a sharp gap down here okay which was filled here so the, this level the current level where the price is right now could act as a support could act okay this is not a confirmation yet okay so do not take any investing decision based on this okay if you want to take then obviously do your own analysis but this is not yet confirmed that this is going to be the resistance and the index could stop falling from here there is no clear sign at all but this is just the early sign that it could stop so in order to get a better view i'm going to go to the daily time frame so when i come to the daily time frame i see the same thing but still i do not see any major uh, support that has formed here okay you can see here and if i enable the simple 50 days moving average okay then i can clearly see that it is far away from the uh, price right now and even if it starts going up from here this 50 day moving average is going to act as a resistance at least once this is what normally happens okay the resistance will come here okay the i mean the moving average will come here the price will go up and then again immediately fall down so here what people make the mistake is that once they see this thing rising okay by maybe 1000 points they think that the uptrend has started and they take entries and that is where they do the mistake because the stock the index or the stock will go up a little bit and then again come down even further this is also one uh, high probable scenario so uh, make sure not to repeat this mistake okay so we will just go by the evidence what the uh, you know price action is telling us so the price action is telling us that this could act as a support now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the fib levels to trace where the 50 percent aligns okay so i will use the 50 percent and i will draw from here okay and let me just remove this blue line so that it does not uh, we do not get confused okay 
and you see the reason why I have I have chosen this as the base is because you see the rally is starting from here and I could have chosen here yes you can choose okay it is but this is the long term view okay so and it is a better view you know to take uh, you know from the base from the uh, lowest point of the base to the highest point that is where you should put your fib retracement not from the middle part okay not from where the uh, you know wh where there is a strong pullback you do not you should not take there from there okay you should take only from the base okay and this is the base and here you can see one little bit retracement and then again going up again coming down okay now you can see that the 50 percent aligns here 32,372 and the uh, you know index is close to that okay and obviously we know that the support resistance are areas and zones not exact lines so i i did draw the line here and it was falling here and the uh, you know the index could come down little bit up to this level or maybe even 32000 and if it has to form a base here it will definitely show early signs of strength here and then go up so for now the simple thing that we can do right now is wait for the index to break this level 61.8% level 33,800 or you can say 34,000 rounded up okay as soon as it breaks above that level then that will be a good point of entry and you can plan accordingly if you want to make entries uh, in the in you know in any stock or index okay based on your own analysis that is where the uptrend could start okay potential uptrend could start but for now there is only pure weakness no sign of clear strength at all and you can see uh, here since this time it has been only been giving red candles here also red candles one doji and here there is a small green candle okay and the week is not yet complete okay and once it completes obviously it should touch here or but it could not break this level that is what it will not going to break uh, break this level okay that is what we know okay it will definitely go around this level and may try to make a base and once the base is formed then we can see where the stock goes or the index goes and then we can plan our entry so i will definitely make one more update video once i see a proper support but for now the update is that you should not make any entries in stock or index just watch the price action okay and see where it is going to take support okay remember this level let me just repeat 32000 could be the support and we have to wait for 34000 in order to see if it is giving a breakout or not okay so i'm writing here 34k okay this is where uh, you know once the st uh, index breaks above this one we will be clear that the uptrend has started and 32000 this is where it could take a good support okay these are the two levels that you should be tracking okay and after we see these signs we can plan and uh, you know decide which stocks we want to invest in or the entire index we should be investing in it's up to uh up to, it, it is up to that time okay once these evidences are clear okay so that is all about this video i hope this video was helpful and informative please hit the like button and subscribe to financial impulse if you have not done already and uh, make sure uh, to you know check the other channel that i mentioned in the start of the video current financial affairs okay where you'll find my analysis in hindi okay and it is mostly on latest news and its impact on the market so thank you for watching i'll meet you in the next one bye take care